welcome back. It's been such a long time. I've let life get on top of me with work and just so many things happening. So I've been sitting on this video for quite a while. So I've actually been really busy shopping as well. And I want to talk about this haul I've done um, from a website called beauty.com. And I'm kind of really gutted because I found out fairly recently that they're actually shutting down. Um, I've only had the chance to do a couple of hauls from them so I'm a little bit devastated because I wanted to say that they have the best customer service ever. I've never come across a makeup place or store or any store actually for that matter who which has such good customer service and it's just really really amazing. So I wanted to touch upon the fact that I have about these guys so there's two of them and this is the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in Twilight. So when I did my first haul, I I bought this. Um, I thought it looked really interesting. Um, it was beautiful and I did some googling and seen other swatches and thought, oh, I can add something new to my highlighter collection. So very excited and when they eventually arrived, unfortunately it came broken in a million pieces. There was highlighting powder everywhere, really sparkly. I was extremely gutted and I thought, okay, so I didn't really think that I would, you know, get a replacement. Usually when you buy things online, they'll just tell you, um, they'll refund you at the most. Um, but I checked up on the refund policy and they're actually quite good. They're willing to either send you a new product, um, which they did. So I hopped onto their email, um, sent them an email saying that the product arrived broke. I was fully prepared. I took photos. I was fully prepared to send them all the photos and show them that it broke in transit, obviously. Um, and they were so cool about everything. Um, answered within 24 hours, which was remarkable. And they were so nice about it. They basically said, really, really sorry. Um, do you want a replacement or a refund? And I said, I want to try out the product. I want, I would like a replacement, please. And they sent it off immediately. It was within 24 hours. They've sent me a new one. It arrived. And unfortunately, it arrived broken. So I ended up with two products, um, the same product, which was broken. Again, I was extremely gutted, but I emailed them again and said, unfortunately, the product broke. Um, I think it's because it's such a soft formula. It must just not be very good in transit. So I was just like a refund and they were great about it. They refunded me and I was really, really happy. I was just, this is great customer service for them to make it so fuss free, really easy. And it just made me feel like I definitely want to purchase from them again. So I am extremely gutted with the fact that they have decided to shut down. So they haven't yet, um, but they're having kind of their closing down sale. So I made another haul and I just like all the stores I really like just shuts down. I'm really gutted about it. But anyway, Getting into the fun part, which is to show you what I've actually bought. Uh, lots of new products, which new to me anyway, I've never tried it before. So really, really excited and just going back to these ones. So I've obviously patched them up again. Um, and I did this by basically Googling how to repair powder products. So it looked a little bit imperfect obviously so it kind of looks a bit like this it's not in a kind of powdery form anymore it's got speckle all over the place but it's still very much usable so if I swatch it that is the swatch and it just looks really really pretty so it's a really subtle lovely highlighter and I put it against my skin that is what it looks like so it's kind of champagne gold. Look at that glistening. It's just really, really pretty. Obviously it's completely usable. So I'm quite happy about it. And the way I fixed it was to just break it up even more um, and then mix it with isoprol alcohol. So I make a kind of a paste and then just press it back down again and let it dry overnight. So it's not perfect, but it's back in the pan. I can use it, which I'm really happy about. and. Now I have two, so I fixed both of them. One of them look a little bit better than the other, but they're really, really cool. Um, they're obviously a little bit different from how it would have arrived intact. It was quite pretty, um, 
but I'm, I'm quite excited to try them out. So let's get on to the rest of the swatches and I'll show you what I bought. The first thing I got my eye on was a product from Tarte. So this is one of the um, Amazon in Clay 12 hour blush. Now I have one in, I think it's called Gleeful or Tipsy. It was, it's kind of like a peachy coral color, but I've seen swatches of this and this is the one in Natural Beauty and it's just a red blush. I thought I really like to pick this up and beauty.com has fantastic sales by the way um anywhere from I think it was 20 to 30 percent sale so I didn't end up picking this up when I went to Sephora in the US I just bought it off the website because I get a sale um and I just thought it was really really cool I mean it's also cruelty free look at that little happy bunny that's really cool so this is what it looks like oh that's so pretty this is what it looks like that's super super bright blush it has the amazonian um imprint on it which i think is really cool so let's do oh i don't want to swatch it Ooh, okay it's a lot pinker than i thought it would be that's cool that is what the swatch looks like it's definitely much pinker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more of a red blush, but that looks super, super nice. I actually don't have a kind of bright fuchsia pink um, blush in my collection, so that's really cool. I'm really excited to try that out. It comes with a really massive mirror, so I'm excited about that. Next I have yet another blush, I kind of went a bit blush crazy and this is the Balm in Stain Blush which I've been umming and eyeing and it's just, they look remarkable and I really really want to try them on, they're quite expensive, I think they were about 20 to 25 dollars for a blush um, but on, on sale it's just, it's amazing so I've got the one that is in the colour Twal that's cute um, it comes in fantastic packaging so there's a little cover and you slide it out and it's just a cardboard box and it's just how amazing is that the packaging is just so lovely and it just opens up like a little book that's so cute Ooh, there you go that is what the, I can't hold this up that's what the blush looks like it looks very very similar to the one I just swatched um, oh there's powder everywhere it looks very similar to the one that I just swatched from Tarte and on the mirror it actually says wear it well vous, av vous va bien you go good that's very very weird translation I'm gonna figure out what that actually means um, Anyway, so this is what the blush looks like and it's quite interesting because it's a little bit loose in there. It looks like I can actually decant it if I like to, um, but I'm not going to because that's so cute. Now, if I swatch this, ooh, pretty. So that is a, let's see, there we go. That is a little bit more of a peachy pink. It looks like it's also got some gold shimmer running through it. I think that's just so so pretty. Very very pretty. I'm quite excited about that. Moving on to blush number three. You can see there's a theme going on. Anyway, this is the Tarina Tarantino Doll Skin Cheek Blush. And it comes in a little package like this. It looks very very cute. And the colour of this is called Feather. That's really nice. So how do I actually open this? Basically this entire video would be me saying the product and swatching it and trying to open it. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Very nice packaging. Kind of looks like that. Kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay packaging with the gunmetal silver. Um, and also just the way the back of it is. That's so nice. Um, let's open this up. Oh, wow. So it's like powder product everywhere so it comes like this that's very nice comes with a mirror as well now this one it looks to be much more natural um it's a little bit more beige than i thought it would be it's still a kind of um 
kind of pink but much paler so I'm not actually sure whether this will show up on my cheek but if I give this a swatch oh wow that is so soft and it's definitely quite a pale color so that's what it looks like there you go I think that would look so lovely on someone who's a bit paler than I am but that would also make a really nice kind of natural blush on me so I'm excited to try that out um it's just the formula feels so soft and so lovely so I I'm quite excited to try that out very very nice next I have a face product well another face product but this is actually a bronzer so this is the Vincent Longo La Riviera sun bronzer for face and body and it is in the shade golden glow I think and it basically says it's a textured warm sunlit tone so that's interesting I've not tried anything from Vincent Long Longo Longo before um so I'm not really sure what it's like oh I love that color just that beautiful teal on the inside of the box I like it when brands just give that little extra touch to packaging I think that's so cool and it matches the um font of the text as well that's really really cool um, comes in just plastic packaging this is what it looks like and how do I how do I open it oh dear oh there we go <laughs> there we go that is so pretty oh wow look at that that is so cool it's just got it kind of almost my skin tone anyway um uh face powder with little flecks of kind of pale pale cold and a slightly darker brown color not sure how that will come out but oh wow that's so soft that is so soft so this is the color I think that would not be a bronzer on me. I think it's more like it's slightly, if anything, kind of peachy. Kind of, um, I don't even know how to describe this. It's kind of like a slightly more peachy face powder. I'm wondering if I can just wear this all over and give me like a little bit of a of a glow um, for summer. So that looks really interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use this as a bronzer but again it, it feels so soft so I like to see how I can actually incorporate it into my kind of makeup everyday makeup so excited to try that out. Let's see if we can make a game with how many times I would say I'm really excited to try it out. <laughs> anyway, so next I have a, something that is quite interesting is the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer Illuminator and it comes in a really cute just beautiful beautiful packaging so sleek um i just love the texture of this and it's basically do we have a color it doesn't say that there is a color on this so anyway um on the packaging it says for the ultimate glow our cult hero living luminizer provides a luminous light reflecting finish and application highlight cheekbones bridge of nose inner corners of the eye center of eyelid and cupid's bow for a dewy finish so i think it's a cream highlighter oh very very nice oh the packaging is lovely just that it comes in what feels like really hot glass or could be really super hot plastic sorry i oh. can't find the answer to the question I That would be Echo. I'm trying not to wake her up. Um, anyway, avoiding that. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. That just looks really, really nice. I don't know why I bothered smelling it, but anyway, I'm a little bit afraid to dip my finger in. But, oh, okay. That's interesting. It's really emollient. It feels almost like a gloss. And it is a bit of a gloss. Look at that. I don't know if that would show up. There we go. Can you see that shine? 
so there's not a lot of pigment in there it's more like a gloss which is quite interesting i'm gonna just I don't know if that would show up. That is that is actually quite interesting. Um, I'm not really sure about this. I think I would like it if I was doing... If I wasn't actually going to wear this for the entire day. Um, especially on my really oily skin. Um, but it would look really cool for photo shoots, I think. Like, just on top of the cheekbones. Maybe even to do, like, a glossy eye. That would be so cool. I'm really excited to try it out. <laughs> Next up, I have a bunch of stuff from a brand called Jue, and I kind of feel like that means to play, which is kind of really cool. Um, I've heard, I've seen a lot of US YouTube bloggers um, and vloggers try out this brand, and it looks really, really cool. So I was kind of excited to just buy a, a bunch of things and play around with them. So let's see, I have a mineral powder blush here and this is in the shade bougainvillea or bougainvillea which is a type of flower that grows in southwest asia a lot um just kind of reading the packaging it's really really cool um so the good thing about well the interesting thing about this brand is that it connects to other products so you can actually make your own palette like it goes on top of the other um other packaging or it locks onto the other packaging so I thought that was really really cool and something that I'm just interested in trying out um, it's just in this plastic brown packaging and if I open it up oh pretty and you can see it doesn't open up all the way so you can actually stand this up which is cool um, and it looks like this which is super super nice um, let's see if I that is very nice very pigmented i thought it would be a lot lighter than it is um that looks like it would just be a really nice natural flush of color which is very very cool comes with a full-size mirror which is very much appreciated so that is the blush and then next i've picked up a couple of let's see i've got a couple of eyeshadows um, i've got a cheek tint and a highlighter so let's open up the powder eyeshadow this one is called maple um there we go let's see if i can open this and yeah so this comes in the packaging where it'll lock on to the other one so let's see if i can actually do that or figure out how to do that i don't know oh awesome so they just slide like that, which is so cool. So you can basically just make your own portable palette and bring that around. That is so cool. I'm very, very excited about that. And it just unlocks that way too. Ooh, I'm so excited. Um, so this is called Maple. Let's open that up. It's just a, I think it's just like a mid-tone brown. Looks something like this, which is cool. Um, let's see if I can swatch this. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's a lot of product that just came out. That is very, very nice. That's just a very cool brown. Let's see if I can. Ooh. Basically, it disappears in the back of my hand, which is a little bit worrying, but it, the swatch looks cool. So I'd like to see how it actually applies on the eyes. Um, that's maple, so just really easy, very, very easy to wear. Um, and then next I have something called a lip and cheek tint in Poppy. I've got one eyeshadow. This will also lock onto the other palettes and, oh, that was cool. So this is a lip and cheek color and it's just a cream product and looks like that see if it focuses there we go you can see the rest of my room there it's being really really awful um let's see if i swatch this Ooh, that is pretty that's really pretty um it's kind of got like an orangey tinge to it a bit of a 
kind of orangey pink peachy color that is so cool that is nice like that one and then moving on i have a highlighter i think i have a couple of highlighters actually let me just pop some things where they are meant to be so i've got a highlighter cream and it's a sheer highlighter cream and the shade tear and again one of the ones that lock on so i can basically just make my entire palette just using these Ooh, just very very pretty let's see if that goes that's definitely a cream product it's very very similar to the rms beauty luminizer um same kind of like glossy finish very very sheer i'm not sure if you can see it it's a sort of but it's got a kind of golden tint to it i'm not sure that actually showed up well so if you're interested to see how these products actually perform um especially on my skin you want me to do like proper swatches and a try on please let me know um i'm quite interested to see what they're like on the actual skin so finally we have a luminizing cheek tint um it's a lip and cheek stain it's a bit oh it's a slightly different packaging from the other one. Ooh, this is really really sleek and it's got my fingerprints all over it how lovely is that definitely like a mirrored shine it's kind of this golden silver color um it's in the shade rosy glow let's open it up oh wow this is what it looks like um it's another cream product and this does not have color at all hello what is it it's definitely a cheek color cheek tint luminizing cheek tint color I'm not I think that's just the way my skin looks can you actually see that I'm not sure that shows up at all kind of looking at my finger and I'm like there is nothing there um I don't know that's a bit weird um I'm gonna play around with that and see if that actually comes out maybe it's meant to be a kind of sheer gloss that's a bit weird um is it meant to go on the lips yep it's a lip stain as well so i suppose it's more like a lip gloss type product um not 100 percent sure about this not that excited <laughs> compared to the others um but the packaging is lovely one thing though um i'm a bit surprised by how small everything is they are just really really tiny packaging um but you do get quite a bit don't you i mean there's 0 0.07 there's about two grams of product in that tint um again another two gram of product in here how much is in the blush the blush is 7.6 grams so not too bad um a lot more product in there but you know exciting let's see what they like Next is a really familiar product. Um, I have another one of those Smashbox Double Exposure uh, Mini Eyeshadow Kit. So I've got a neutral one, um, which is based on their first, what is it called? Um, I think it's Full Exposure Palette. So this is the second one. Um, it's a little bit more colorful. And I thought, I really like the first one. So I thought I'll try this one out. Um, and it comes to the exact same packaging and so tiny, tiny, tiny and cute basically it looks like this it's just plastic and if i open it up oh pretty those are the colors so you do get a couple of neutrals um and a couple of colors just here it's very much kind of cool tone so there's the blue couple of kind of grays um but they just look really pretty i'm especially excited about this color which is called let me see if i can it's called copper i would like the shade called copper and the one just on top of it which is quartz so just look really really nice um 
I'm not going to swatch them all here, but if you're interested to see a swatch and a kind of try on, uh, again, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that for you. And then I have a couple of really odd purchases. So these are from Lipta, um, OCC actually. So these are from OCC and they are the new Liptar's ready to wear formulation. So I've heard of OCC ages ago. Um, I was part of a photography modeling website and one of the makeup artists actually is the creator of OCC and she is really lovely. And really, I was kind of excited to just see these in play. So these originally are in little tubes and they're supposed to be very, very pigmented, um, just beautiful, they're vegan free, cruelty free formulation and I've seen them in play so Justine who is one of the most amazing makeup artists in the world, shout out if you're actually see, watching this video, um, she's lovely uh, and she played around with some of the lip ties in some of our shoots and it's just beautiful and amazing the colour is so pigmented so when I saw that they've come up with a ready to wear line I was really really excited and I thought I'll try them out so I've got two of them, um, one of which is called, I can never see what they're called, this is called Lydia, Lydia, and and it's just like a mauve kind of pink colour, so I really like the packaging as well, um, it just says distribution by OCC Inc, it comes from New York, it's made in the USA, so that's really cool, um, let's see if I can open this up. And that's it. So you don't get a lot of products. Um, this is very, very small. I think you get about, how much product do you get? Is it written on here? You get about four mil um, amount of product, which isn't a lot. I think it's also slightly less than what you get um, in the original lip top tubes, but for it's, it's supposed to be super long wearing, also a little bit goes a long way, so I'm excited to see what it actually is like. Um, it comes in a kind of test tube like packaging, I don't know if you can see, they've got the numbers right there, I think that's just so cute. That is nice, isn't it? So this one is like a mauve pink, I thought this would be really nice as an everyday kind of shade, um, just a normal doe fit. Oh wow, that is really, the scent is really strong. I'm not sure what it smells like. It smells quite chemical and a little bit kind of minty. It's really funny. I'm going to swatch this at the back of my hand. Oh wow, that's pigmented. So it's kind of really mauvey pink. Just make sure I close that up tight. Um, and this is what it looks like. That's quite cool. And the other one that I got is a little bit out of my comfort zone. This is called Black Metal Dahlia. So I think Dahlia was one of the really popular shades and they also came out with a metalized finish and it turned out to be, that turned out to be also a really, really cool color. Um, it was really popular, um, especially in the original formulation. So. This is what it looks like. It's basically like a really dark vampy fuchsia red um, with a lot of shimmer in there. So let's see. So we get most of the product in there just so we don't rivet. Oh wow. That is so pretty. I'm I'm really not sure about actually wearing it out. But that is Black Metal Darlia. But how pretty is that? That's just super beautiful. I really, really like that. That would look so amazing in a photo shoot or for like a beauty shoot. That's just so cool. I'm really excited about that. So um, we'll figure out how to work it into my makeup routine, but that's cool. I just figured that this is going to be one of those like super long hauls. Um, yeah. Anyway, follow up. I have another Lorac product. Um, this is the Take Me to Tentego um, 
front of the line pro eye pencil set it comes with antique gold rose bronze and teal i thought the colors look really interesting and again i was just really interested to try and um lorac products so comes in just these kind of packaging um these are full size eyeliners and it looks like oh that's so cool i really like the way they feel in the hand that's just really nice um you've got the colors at the end as well so you can actually get what you're looking for and these are meant to be doesn't actually say about the formulation um highly pigmented ultra smooth waterproof formula vibrant color that doesn't budge that is nice okay cool let's get to swatching so let's try the teal Ooh. nice i like that it's a twist up as well okay so the blue is a little bit darker than i thought it would be it's kind of like got a black base with blue shimmer on top of it i'm not sure if you can actually see that that might just come up black in the camera um so not as vibrant as i thought it would be but it's still an interesting shade i don't have something like that in my collection now next is a shade called rose bronze now this looks really really interesting what's that like okay right so <laughs> i'm a little bit kind of um, that feels a little bit different from the other one um the formula feels a bit harder on the rose bronze than it did on the teal and again i'm kind of looking at a base color with a lot of shimmer on top so i'm not sure what i think about that i don't really like eyeliners with have a lot of glitter just sitting kind of on top of it um i rather prefer a kind of like metal finish or like a, a sheen to it so that is rose bronze which comes up a bit like a kind of brown with kind of pink glitter in there next is antique gold I've got a feeling that it's going to be, yeah. yep, so it's more of a olive, kind of olive green gold kind of shade and it's got that base colour with the gold shimmer on top and this is what it looks like. It's a little bit kind of more bronzy kind of olive base in there. So, mm, I really like the packaging. I thought the actual colors themselves weren't really true to form. Um, they weren't really what I expected, uh, which is which is fair enough. Um, I like to see how they perform on the eyes and just swatching them on the back of my hands. They feel quite waxy, which makes me think that they're not really going to stay for very long, um, especially on my oily lids. But we'll see how those turn out. And then I bought a lot of really random things. Um, the first of which is a, excuse me, <laughs> the first of which is something I can never pronounce. Um, Dior stuff that you put under your arms. Um, this is the La Vanilla Laboratories 100% Natural Healthy thing that stops you from kind of sweating and smelling really bad. Um, I've actually already tried this, so I needed to, um, I bought it to wear it, so um, out of all the products that I got from beauty.com, um, this I've actually tried and I really, really like it. I was a bit surprised um, because I was kind of thinking, hmm, um, but yeah, I was really surprised. It smells kind of a bit like clean sheets with a very kind of tinge of vanilla in there. Which is, which is interesting, um, and you get a lot of product. Like, I was surprised by how big this is. It comes with a screw top, and you just put it back. Um, but yeah, it's just really functional, quite girly with the packaging, um, and I've used it a couple of times now, and it works really well, so I'm quite, I'm quite excited about it. Um, I think I'll keep on using it. Uh, I'm not really sure where I can buy this in Dubai, and I'm not really sure whether it's sold in Al Sephora, so I will figure that out um 
and that will be the prayers going on. And then I got this. <laughs> I kind of caved in and bought a beauty blender. So I think everyone knows what this is. Most people would be using this already if they haven't. Um, I just figured, yeah, why not? Um, I tend to use brushes. I really like the Real Techniques buffing brush to do my foundation. I've not used, I don't typically use sponges anyway, so I'm not really sure how this would turn out. But I figured, yeah, why not? Um, see if I can actually just pop it. Okay, the packaging is really strong on this, so I will open it at another time. But I'll let you how. Well, I'll let you know how I go. Then I just bought uh, another one of these. Um, this is the Glam Glow Flash Mud. So I really like the pore cleansing one, which is like the the black box with the white bottle. Um, these are so, so expensive. I mean, they're basically like clarifying mask. Um, this one is meant to be a brightening treatment. So I thought I'll try this out um, because, yep. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, these are so expensive. Um, but I thought, yeah, why not? I'll pick another one of these um, and try out a new formula. So I really like the clarifying one anyway. And I thought I'd try the brightening one. I do also really like their cleansers as well. Again, I've got the clarifying cleanser. I would like to try the hydrating one because my skin is kind of really dehydrated at the moment. So um, yeah, that will be that one. I'm still going. Um, this little package. This is the Laura Geller Bakes Beauty 101 and I think it was $39 and then I got it on discount um, and it's like $131 in value. $131 in value um, and in here I just thought it was really cute. I mean it comes with a, in the little pouch with like lips all over it um, and it comes with a few different things. So there is a baked balance and brighten color correcting foundation in medium, a baked bronzer and brighten in medium, Baked blush and brighten in pink grapefruit, and a baked shadow duo in mulberry and oyster. So um, I don't think I've actually tried anything from Laura Geller before, and I thought, yeah, why not? Might as well try it out. Um, ooh, comes all intact. Let's see if we can. Awesome. Everything is still intact. I think I'm I'm missing one. I didn't realize there was quite a few different things in here. Okay. Oh. Am I just missing something? I am missing something. What is it that I'm missing? Um. Oh, that's a bit terrible. I'm missing an item from here. Oh. So if I can get that out. Comes in a little plasticky thing. I said that there was meant to be four products in here and there's only three. Yeah, so I've got a, that's the eyeshadow duo. That is the blush. That is the bronzer. So I am missing a foundation. I think that's what it is. What does the thing say? Um, yeah, there's a baked balance and brighten color correcting foundation in medium, which is missing. So <laughs> I guess I would be contacting beauty.com about my missing thing. Um, but it also comes with a couple of brushes, which I didn't anticipate. So that's actually quite cool. Um, Oh, they're actually really soft. So what does it like? That's all right. Um, this feels like it'll be a face type brush. It's kind of, it's not the softest. It's kind of okay. But this looks to be a eyeshadow eyeliner thing. And that's really super soft. I quite like that. It's just in a really mini size. Quite like that actually interested to see what they're like and the product themselves um they're quite small they're in this kind of baked formula 
I think most of Laura Geller's stuff is in baked formula anyway. Ooh, that's pretty. Comes with like the teeniest, tiniest mirror, which I don't think is very useful. I mean, I can kind of see why they've put it in there, but I'm like, mm. But that is what it is. I'm going to swatch these. So I think that is the blush. Very, very natural. I've got fluff all over me. That is a very natural blush colour, which is very nice. And then this is the bronzer. Ooh, I like the pattern on there. That's really cool. That's actually a bronzer for me. Like, that's a little bit darker than my skin tone, which is nice. But the moment, well, the moment you swirl your finger in there, um, it does mess up the the way that looks. So, um, yeah, don't stick your finger into things, basically. And then you have the eyeshadow, which are those color, um, which I really like. So there is a kind of purple and a brighter. Those are cool. Those would be the shades that I would use. So they're quite shimmery. Um, not sure how they perform on the skin, but I guess that's why you do hauls and you try things out. So I'm excited about that. I'm a bit disappointed that it didn't come with a the fourth item that it was meant to come with. Um, but I will figure that out. Well, this will be the last part and I'm pretty sure that I'm losing light quickly. Now, the other reason why I really like PD.com, and by the way, this isn't an infomercial, I'm not being paid to expose their virtues basically. Um, I just really liked and enjoyed shopping on the website and I think they're great for the fact that you get some really nice brands, um, you get some really nice products, or you can get some really nice products. Um, so often sales going on, and the fact that their customer service is really great, and also the fact that they're really quite generous with their samples. And you know, so I think generally when you order on there, um, you get to pick up a few samples. So some of the things I received, um, and you get to choose what you get, by the way. So for example, I got the Origins Planscription Anti-Aging Power Serum um, to try it out. There is a Origins High Potency Night Amins, which is like a renewal cream. That's really cool. Um, I've got a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Cool. A Hava Wonderful Waters Mineral Foot Cream. Unusual. Um, and there is a Peter Thomas Roth Rose Repair Gel Mask. That's really cool. And an LMS Papaya Enzyme Peel. So these are obviously just samples um, and one try samples. So that's cool. But the other thing is that if I think once you reach kind of a certain limit, um, you get these awesome bags filled with products um, and they're completely filled with samples by the way so the first time I made a uh, an order from them this is by what is it called Lila Rose and it's like a little clutch bag um, in pink it's got like a little bow on top it's kind of like this style which is a bit dated but I thought it was still cool um, you know throwback and then you just got a massive load of samples in there and I just thought it was amazing so in here I have I don't know what this is uh, macadamia shampoo conditioner and oil treatment cool um, and what else do you get? get a little like ten dollars off I've got a it cosmetic CC cream this is probably not in my color but that's all right and a another something from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Acne Clear Invisible Dot. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, you get a couple of in there, and then I think you just put them on. And these adhesive patches help clear acne and heal blemishes in as few as eight hours. I need that. That is really really cool. I got a little kind of bottle size of the Oscar Blandy Hair Lift Thickening Strengthening Mousse. Very nice. And most of these are travel size, which is really cool. Um, this is the Caviar CC Cream Extra Hold for Thick Hair from Alterna. So you get skincare products, hair products. I've got a Clara CC Salt Solutions for the face. This is Rapid Detox Charcoal Exfoliant. 
This looks like it's in powder form. That's interesting. Um, ooh, you have a NYX Rift Meal. This is the hand and nail cream. This is so cute. It's basically a little travel size hand cream. I like that. Um, there's a quarterly vinyl source, um, SOS t Thirst Thirst Quenching Serum. Um, and again, just a really nice sample size of that. That is nice. I actually need that. Something called Pores Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid um, Exfoliant. Oh, okay, uh, chemical exfoliant. That is very cool. And a teeny tiny Bliss Fabulous Drench and Quench Cream to Water Lock in Moisturizer. This is like super tiny. How cute is that? Like, super, super cute. And a Jane Iredell Smooth Affair Facial Primer and Brightener. Yep. Uh, something else in the bottle. This is the Way Rapid Glow Liquid Milk. I think it's a conditioner. Way Beauty. I think uh, they do shampoo and conditioner, so that's cool. Um, this is a Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask in like the teeniest, tiniest serum, like a bottle ever. This looks like it's actually been used, which will be a little bit weird, but I hope not. Um, a little perfume called Clean Air. I don't know which brand. Fusion Brands. Not heard of them, but that's nice. Um, a fairly chunky bottle of the Michael Todd Pumpkin Rich Facial Mask. Nice. And a, ooh, what is that? A Frey Fresh um, Hand Sanitizer. In like the weirdest tiny bottle. That's cool. And a teeny tiny soap um, from Felight Cleansing Bar. Oh, Erno Lazio. How tiny and cute is that? So that is a lot of samples. I'm gonna basically just put them back in like this. Um, like really super generous. I mean, you know, it's one way of saying, you know, let's give you some of these kind of like samples, but it's a whole other thing to give you kind of travel size. You can actually use it for a few times and actually find out whether you like it or not. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, so that's in there. And then the second time I made an order, um, another bag, and this is a Jay Mendel bag, which is actually really nice. Um, it's kind of satin finish quite a good size in blue. I thought it was really chic. Um, and then it just kind of goes like that. A magnetic, which is cool. Um, less samples in here, but quite cool anyway. So I've got a Amazing Cosmetics concealer and it's nice that they give you a few different ones. So you can actually find one that is close to your skin tone. And I think these would actually fit me quite well, like a medium beige or the tan golden would fit me really well. Um, I've got another quarterly product. This is the Micellar Cleansing Water, which is kind of leaking a little bit. So, good thing they put it in a pouch. So, I will actually take that out and clean that. Uh, there we go. I've got a little tiny nux um, of their multi purpose oil. So, I already have one of these, but this is nice just to travel. That's really cool. Um, Something else. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I can see that I'm fast losing light. Um, anyway, so continuing on, there's a cleansing oil by Skin and Co. In here, there is a oh another Ren product. This is the Flash Defense Anti Pollution Mist. Oh, I really want to try that. That's cool. Um, another teeny tiny Origin Ginseng face mask. That is so. Um, I've got a little pop band. Oh, it's like a hair tie in like a seriously fluorescent yellow. Uh, followed by ooh, a mascara by Deuce. Yep, Boombastic mascara. Cool. Um, another way product. This is a foaming cleanser. Ooh, a foaming cleanser for the face. Doesn't actually tell you. It's in Chinese rose. It's a 
doesn't actually smell like anything, but that's cool. I can always use cleansers. Um, ooh, a little Jenna Hip yellow nail polish. Say hello to my little friend. Say yellow to my little friend. Oh, that's so cute. Um, and then the teeniest, tiniest lip crayon. Oh, by Vincent Longo, and this is in Corello Red. That is so tiny so cute so i mean you get a lot of really usable products um and really really nice samples i mean that is fantastic so i'm quite excited to try everything out and use them and that's pretty much everything so those are my new beauty products um that i've bought and if you're interested in seeing an actual like full-on review or you want me to see me swatch anything or well do a proper swatching and a try on do let me know um and just like and thumbs up this video if you like it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.